Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a cable or a pipe from two very simple tools, your EP curve tool and your circle tool. In your curve selections, you'll have your circle and your EP curve. You'll want to draw out two of those. I will go ahead and show you how to do so. Here's your EP curve. Just go ahead and click your points that you want your wire or pipe to follow. Go ahead and click Q or your selection tool to make it a green highlighted line. And go ahead and draw out your circle. The circle is actually going to be the diameter of your wire or pipe. In this case, I'm going to make it pretty small because I do want it to be a wire or a cord. So I'm going to rotate this on the 90 degrees on its X axis so that it's nice and straight up and straight down the top or orthographic view. I'm going to unselect and reselect it. I'm going to rotate this so that it best matches the EP curve tool over there. I'm going to move this over to where it's flush with one of the points of the EP curve tool. As flush as you can make it. I'm going to hit the rotation curve, rotation pop key again to bring up so that the rotate X actually lines up with the line. You're going to want to left click the circle, shift, left click the line, go to edit, delete by type, and go to history. That's going to make sure that there's going to be no deformation with this when you uh, go this extra step to make it into your wire. Make sure that you're in your surfaces drop down menu. You're going to left click the circle, shift select the line again. You're going to go up to surfaces, extrude, go to the options box. You want to make sure that this says tube and at path. By default, I believe it's tube and at profile. You want to make sure it says at path. Everything else should be fine. Then you're going to go ahead and hit extrude. And you should see it turn into a pipe or wire, depending on the diameter of that circle that you've created. Now, if you wanted, if you didn't like how that the diameter looked, you can go ahead and click on that circle and then scale it down to the size that you're wanting it to. Focus in even more, make it even a thinner wire. After you've determined the that's how you want it to look like. You want to left click on the actual geometry that was created. Go to edit, delete by type, history. That's going to disconnect this from your EP curve tool. You can move that off to the side, select those, and then hit delete. That way there can be no more adjustments to this now new wire. So that is the easiest way to make a very simple cord, wire, or pipe. And remember, the diameter is determined by the circle that you create, and you can make this thing even smoother with other options that are available to you when you're going through your extruding. So with that, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me a message, and I will do my best to answer those questions that arise. Thank you and good luck with this and have some fun.